Good morning, everyone. Today is day six of my trauma healing journal series. And today, the question is, what makes me angry? How do I express anger? And what are healthy ways I can release my angry feelings? (sighs) So anger is one of those emotions that could be tied to trauma. And a lot of the times you could be releasing your anger as a trauma response. So it is good and important to reflect on this. And luckily it's hopefully, I mean, it could possibly be a heavy question for you today, but hopefully it's one of more (laughs) self-discovery. If you'd like to stick around for a breathing exercise and a little bit of like protection talk after, go ahead. Um, If not, we'll see you tomorrow for day seven. I love you all. Okay, so today I kind of want to start with the breathing and then after... Um, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of protection ideas just because it's really important. So let's go ahead and get started with our breaths. And then if you want to know about protection, stick around. (laughs) Okay. So again, let's close our eyes and our three breaths, connecting us to the earth, connecting us to source, and then grounding us here in this moment. Thank you. All right, so if you stuck around this long, you're probably doing the 30-day journey as well. And if so, it is very important that you are doing protections every day just for yourself, doing some self-care every single day. Um, Sorry about that. There was something popping up on my phone. Um, But I kind of want to talk about really easy ways because I know, especially for me, I'm a neurodivergent person. I have a lot of things going on, especially up here in my brain. So... For me, an easy way, um, getting a glass of water, getting a cup of coffee. Those are really easy ways. um, With water, put a finger in it and then put your intentions in that water. Um, Coffee, stir them in. um, And then hopefully, like anything that you're drinking really can help. Hopefully that helps. I love you all.